Yo, what's up everybody? I'm so glad you guys are here today. We have something really exciting. World of Airports Update 2.1 just came out today. Some big things that 2.1 bring are the new tower manager feature, the B789 model upgrade, the Bari airport model upgrade, extra levels in all your airports, and more features and bug fixes, including some changes that you might wanna be aware about too. So the one change that you wanna be aware about is the maintenance change. Right over here, if you scroll down, you'll see there's maintenance start fix on direct player-to-player -player contract. So the player-to-player -player contract bug is a bug that was mentioned on a previous Fat Airlines video, and this bug's now gonna be fixed. So every player should be aware that maintenance is going to cost you more money again. Can I get some booze in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> it was nice while we had it, you know? Um, so maintenance is going to cost you wallers, but the plane will work on maintenance even Stick. if you're out of the airport or the game is closed. Now, for some better news, we have the new tower manager feature, which is uh, really, really cool. It's going to automate the approach, the departure, the ground, and the delivery services for a fee. I can tell you right now, Actually, let's go look at it. So for the tower manager feature, you go up here to this new icon. This icon is the tower manager. You get a whole new point of view as well. So you could see the airport from the tower's point of view. I, you can't really handle planes. Yeah, I can't tap on planes. It's not working, but you are able to essentially assign some tower managers to each of these uh, services. What? So you can choose to have a 2% sped up landing a 4% speed up landing or a 6% speed up landing. I'm going to do 6% here and we're going to go ahead and activate it. Are you sure you want to activate the controller? No, I'm not sure yet. Let's let's go into the next feature. We got departure. Departure automatically manages the departure queue by takeoff clearance. We have delivery. So automatically it selects and assigns stands. This is pretty cool too, because uh, you could speed up the chocks, which is like, it's a pretty slow process if you're actually watching them do it. And it'll also assign the gate for you. And then finally we have ground, which automatically manages pushbacks. That could be very convenient as well. It opens up more gates, so that way your delivery manager could do more things. 2%, 3%, 4%. And then you have an activate all button where you can activate all the controllers and it looks like it activates them all at the 2% level. So I'm gonna start off with the approach and we're gonna do 6%, we're gonna activate it. You got a nice cool little animation. All right, so now we're gonna see how that works, right? So, so you see like this plane right here is assigned to a gate. This plane is coming in. This plane is assigned to gate and it's just automatically landing the planes for me without me having to, to like really do anything which is really really nice i'm gonna get a i've gotten nice full airports already from this oh the 789 is has the new advanced airplane model and there's two new planes as well the 788 and the 78x so let's take a look at those let's take a look at those and let's buy some right let's do it i don't have any 789s for off for free for offer so we're gonna go ahead and configure and buy we're gonna change airplane. We're gonna to go to L plane and we got the 789. We got the new advanced model for the 789. Let's put some colors on this plane. So we got the 789, the unified liveries. Kind of expensive, right? 24 for a premium, 36 gold planes for supreme, 60 gold planes for special. You know, it has 420 economy seats. You get 6,787 nautical miles. If you make it all first class seats and economy seats, you got 7,800 nautical miles. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, buy this plane. Departure has finished its work. All right, let's get back to the patch notes. I wanna show you guys the 788 and the 78X, but I need to go to another airport in order to do that. So we're gonna to go to Bari Airport next so we can see the Bari Airport model update. There's this new feature called Favorite Airplanes Filter. A heart icon on airplane cards can be managed from Fleet or Contracts tab. This is a heart icon that you can see on the airplanes. Let me, uh, let me show you. You click on this contract, you can see this heart, you can heart a contract or, a, well, any contract. It doesn't have to be a fleet plane. It could be a, a, another player. It could be another uh, airline. It could be anything. Oh, and by the way, there are other things added to that plane card, right? So on the bottom here, 
you got the camera icon which is at a different spot you have the focus icon but uh not only that but we also have the stand number here we have the info button which is a, a different spot um you see where the medium plane is being shown somewhere else now and uh overall i think it's just a, a nicer card you could see where where the plane is where the plane is going even before it's landed you could see what stand it's been assigned to so let's let's assign this to a, a stand right here and you could tell even before it land that's at stand b3 so that's i think that's a, a huge cool update assigned stand gate name is shown on airplane detail card i also showed you guys that um what else do we have well it's got a, a game size reduction which is pretty cool uh, very important for a lot of you guys right because maybe you're not always have to have the best wi-fi so that'll help you with downloading the game a lot faster um, i know in a previous q a developer q a the developers mentioned that they were looking at ways to reduce the game size by only downloading the things that were necessary for you to play the game so does that mean like you only have to like certain airports downloaded? Um, I don't think that's the way it works just yet, but uh, we're working on it. We're figuring it out. And then, you know, we got two more extra levels for all airports, which is really nice. I'm a little sad it's only two levels, but the cool thing is, and most of these on all the airports, we got new airplanes and wallers for the two new levels. So you get free airplanes and you get free wallers with your, with your levels. So that's going to be really nice as well. Let's, uh, let's keep reading the patch notes here. We also got some bug fixes, right? So let's scroll down there. Some of the notable bug fixes are the cannot enter hangar fix. I'm not sure what that is, but it's good if you were experiencing that, that's fixed. Um, we have destinations marked, where is that one? Destinations marked as international instead of regional. So you got TLL Talon, uh, TLS Toulouse, JER, Jersey, LCA, Lar Larnaca, added to European region, ANU, BQN, FDF, FLL, PTY, added to the St. Martin region, and IPL, Imperial, from San and Washington. So those are really cool. That means uh, you could get a few more map contracts, even if you're not quite uh, an international airport, especially since like some of these are should be regional too so that's really cool um we also saw we also see a pax arrivals from military cargo destinations fix i always thought it was kind of strange that i would see some passenger planes coming from military air force bases so now that's been corrected yeah i want to switch airports i want to go to bari i want to let's take a look at the bari bari got let's if we look at the patch notes here bari got an airport model update let's take a look at what bari looks like First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on, we're gonna check out the tower manager. Look at that. We're gonna turn on approach. I'm gonna turn it on at 6% faster. Also gonna turn on, uh, I think that's it, that's all I really need. I don't need pushback help, I don't need delivery help, and I don't need assigning gates help either. We'll just start assigning some gates, assign a bunch of gates, so that way I don't have to worry about the, the tower manager not having a job to do. And then we'll 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 explore at Bari. Right, that's assigned. Look at all these player uh, non-player planes. The first thing we got is our normal terminal view. Or what is this? Tower view. Bari terminal got an upgrade. Look at that. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at camera two. All right, we got the runway. Look, I could tell some differences over here too. All right, oh, look at this passenger terminal. I wonder if we would see more activity here if like we had a plane like uh, that's actively boarding or uh, deboarding. We got the plane spotting camera, which is still the same, just updated Bari and then we got our main view not, not too bad at all I appreciate these upgrades I do want to see what happens when we have a, a, a plane at this gate though helipad in front of your yellow cargo plane oh yeah 
All right, let's read through some more patch notes, right? Because uh, I want to just finish finish the patch notes. So we got two extra levels on all airport ports. There's a de-icing snowflake icon on the airplane detail card. You get level up notifications. There's daylight savings time offsets. Empty fil filter texts. Description while selected filter cannot display in any airplane. Oh, interesting. The 787 bottom red beacon light was added and a finish, the finish language was added as well. As for bug fixes, maintenance start fix, which we talked about before. Um, the runway name fix from Tower Communication at Leipzig and Muscat. Unable to select an airplane by tapping on it related to unbuilt terminals. Dude, I was having this problem at San Diego, so I'm, I'm actually kind of happy they, they fixed this. Uh, stuck airplane after claiming rewards from contract details card fix. Nice. Cargo doors opening animation fixes on passenger airplanes. Handling position fix. Jet bridge position update. The B738 cone. A Concorde DH64 catering truck. Airplane camera position fixes on the A306F. The B748F. The B752F. The Concorde. The DHC6 and the E190. Translation corrections. Uh, phrases corrections in the Polish language. Overflowing text in Japanese. The water salute in Thai. Uh, maintenance price. Contract card maintenance. Dot dot dot. BCS1. BCS3 engines rotation and small fuel truck. Nice. Spotting camera fix while access to device storage is denied. It was not possible to use the spotting camera after denial of device storage access. Interesting. Fail safe closing of cargo doors after finished handling. Graphic bug fixes. Uh, the baggage belt occasionally not connected to cargo hatch. Large stairs doing spring effect. <laughs> I, saw, I remember seeing those. Uh, flickering shadows at IAD. Leipzig rendering is issues fix on DHL terminal. Various small graphic fixes at Leipzig. Sunken roofs in Prague, C-17 lines, basic custom liveries, display fix, etc. Strobe after exiting the airport fix. Strobe lights off after arrival at stand, but we're on again after reloading the airport. Now fixed. Dancing airplane at IAD fix. Handling and pushback of DH-64 fix. The E-190 lights fix. Blind destinations that offer nothing. I read that one before. Ryanair airline flag correction, duplicated destinations fix, Montego Bay, MBJ, and EUX, St. Eustatius. Read that one. Snow White liveries and hangar offering color selection fix. Um, the DHC6 icon showed on other airplanes, generic contract in levels tab fix. And the B747 prototype livery bug fix. Nice. I mean, quite a decent upgrade. Um, you know, we went from 2.0.3 to 2.1. And uh, yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe to Fat Airlines on YouTube. Um, you know, we make World of Airports videos to help you understand the game better and uh, to have a good time, no matter your play style. All right. But, all right, guys, I think that's good. Uh, that's good for everybody. And uh, I appreciate you all being here. And I hope you guys have a fantastic morning, whatever time it is for you. And uh, join this raid. All right, guys. Peace.